Hello friends my name is Shashank and welcome back to my channel Corporate Guy and today I am very excited to show you my new project which I have created using the Microsoft Power Suit and if you don't know what is Microsoft Power Suit it is a set of tools which can help you to automate your day to day activities it can help you to create power apps uh, mobile applications automate your uh, daily uh, tasks create database and even visualize your data using Power BI so it is a set of four tools power apps sharepoint power automate and power bi so i have combined all of these four tools together to create this one very interesting incident management application so right now you can see this screen is a mobile screen you can also use it on a web uh, on on a chrome browser or any browser or you can also use it in a mobile application as a, a power app so this app is uh, used to record incidents on the go you can have on your mobile phone record incidents and view incidents and close or uh, edit incidents and update the incidents so first of all let me just show you all the incidents which are already are being recorded using this application so if i just go, go to this uh, button view all incidents it is going to display all the incidents which has been recorded already in the database and if i want to just see or uh, the details about the incident it will just open up the details and if you want to update it you can just simply go to this pen icon it will update it and then you can again save it with this button to submit the uh, incident back to the database all right and then there is a second button which shows only those incidents which are open and are yet to be closed uh, it can be any investigation you know, on process or some uh, any kind of you know process which is not completed and that uh, incident is not closed yet you can just update it uh, from the application status from go to open from open to close and then submit back and now it will be moved from the open list of incidents to the all incidents right so these are the two buttons which you can use to update the incidents view the incidents but the most important one is to report an incident so this is the button you can use to report incident from this tool all right so you can see there is a new blank form you can use it to just uh, report a new incident let's say test 1 is a just for a test version i'm giving you a you know live demonstration of it how it works right so let's say the incident was happened on 19th of october at around 6 uh, or uh, maybe uh, 1800 hours and the location was zone 2 and then it is reported by uh, self type of incident was people severity was level 2 and the category of incident was assault and then everything can be left blank and now you see that when i use severity level 2 or level 3 it is going to use the power automate and going to trigger an email which will be received on my outlook email and the moment i submit it you will see it will be updated in my sharepoint database uh, on the top row as the latest incident and also in my power bi dashboard here from the count of total incidents will shift from 126 to 127 in real time basis so let me just press uh, submit here and now it take me back to the you know home screen now let's just go to the database refresh the list and i should be able to see this new incident which i have just reported using the power app so now you see that the new incident has been updated in the database and if you go to the power automate you will see that it will also start the power automate flow using that trigger because the incident was of level 2 and as per the conditions it should trigger a new email to my email id and if i just refresh it it takes couple of seconds to refresh the flow and couple of seconds to receive an email so you see just 6 seconds ago the new trigger was triggered new flow was triggered and i am about to receive a new email and yes i have already received that so hi a new level 2 incident has been reported on so and so date and the details are as follow so you can see that based on the power automate flow i have received this email on my outlook right and if i just take you back to my 
browser and take you to my dashboard right now the dashboard count is 126 and my dashboard is scheduled to refresh automatically at 1 am but if i just go to my settings and refresh it manually you will see that my count will go from 126 to 127 so data has been refreshed let me refresh the visuals here and now the count should go from 126 to 127 in real time basis and now if i just go down you will see my name will be there self two incidents has been reported and both of them are open so now let's explore the functionality and the features of this power bi dashboard which is now uploaded on power bi online services and if you have a power bi uh, online pro services you can share that link with your teammates they can also use it on real time basis and see the metrics on real time basis so let us just go to the full screen and see from the top left side that is the total incident it is the 127 and then there is a bifurcation of these 127 incident based on the location zone 1 to zone 4 and zone 1 is highlighted as red because the any zone which has the maximum number will automatically be highlighted with red color as per the configuration which we have done here and then we have the severity and based on level 1 to level 3 we have the uh, no, distribution of numbers of incidents under each level and then we have the status how many are open and how many are closed with their per percentage as well and on the top right we have the date period date slicer which you can use to slice the data uh, from uh, one date period to another date period so you can see we have now data from july to december and if i go back to january you will see all the months are now highlighted here right so this is how you can use this use it to slice data and then we have monthly trend from january to december which shows us the number of incidents reported on, on that month and number of incidents which are still open under that month and then we have type of incidents from property people and both and you can see the you know distribution and then the further the type of incidents are divided into the categories from assault to robbery the number of incidents are here and on the below central uh, location we have the uh, you know uh, categories of action taken the number of incident under each uh, category of action taken how many incidents are under investigation ongoing how many are uh, under the people uh, perpetrators who are identified and how many are resolved using the uh, by giving a simple warning so this is the you know uh, segregation and distribution of incidents uh, from the 127 and then we have the team kpis also that how many incidents were reported by the each uh, individual and how many are still open now you can add more uh, features here also see that how much time they're taking uh, to close one incident by calculating the percentage and time taken from uh, incident reporting incident to closing incident and then you can analyze these things to get more insights so this is how you can use this power suit to create a power bi dashboard starting from the power app and then to the power bi dashboard that is from one end to another end we have all the four uh, tools uh, explained here using sharepoint which we is used which is used as a share database to save the data and then the power automate to trigger emails let me just show you how this trigger emails right and then uh, and then you can have a little bit of understanding how you can you know uh, automate your daily activities so this is the simple automate uh, automation we have done here to trigger emails when the incident is reported which is of level 2 or level 3 all right so i think uh, uh, with my upcoming videos you will be able to understand and create your own dashboard own uh, incident management application from the scratch so stay tuned for my upcoming videos and don't forget to like share and subscribe and become a member of my channel to get access to these videos which will be you know explained in a step-by-step -step manner in a four video series starting from the sharepoint then power apps then power automate and then finally the power bi dashboard so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe and share with your friends as well